give you a little overview of us. Uh, I'm going into my fourth season at Dakota Westland. Um, you know, we think we've gotten to a position, uh, I think, really right now that uh, four years ago we really had to focus in on a lot of character. You know, I mean, we really put a lot of time into that, trying to build a program, trying to build maybe some of the other pieces, knowing that we were going to be a long ways away from being successful, you know, on the scoreboard. <coughs> But it was important to try to find, you know, get the right people in place, uh, find the right kids, uh, you know, develop the program, build a, build a foundation. It was just like building a house, you got to build from the bottom up. And we went into spring ball this last spring with uh, 50 kids, returners, uh, two deep in every position across the board. We've got 20 out of 22 starters coming back. Um, so I kind of look at our program right now and I feel like, you know, what we did in the process the first three years in terms of building, you know, we're, we're maybe going to, you know, help get some of the fruits of our labor a little bit. Uh, I, I got good kids, uh, and I'm not talking about athletic-wise. I mean, I got good people to, to coach. I got really good kids. Uh, I love them to death. And I, I think we got a few kids that can play a little bit. Uh, we've got an offense that uh, our offensive line, quarterback, backfield, will all play together for the next two seasons. Uh, and they've got a season under their belt. Uh, we've got a couple of seniors in the wide receiver core that we'll lose after this year, but uh, everybody else will come back. Our tight end will be, you know, be back for uh, two more years after this. So we got a little bit of depth and experience on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, we bring back all 11 starters from last year. I've been talking to, you can see Steve over here, Ryan, writing down all these notes. I said we were four and six last year, you know, so we're bringing 22 guys back. That isn't necessarily always good, you know, but uh, we think we got some pretty decent kids coming back, and it's, it's exciting to see the program built and the level that it's at right now in terms of having some experience as opposed to starting, you know, every year over again. When you work at a small college, all these college, all these coaches know that, you know, retention is a big deal. It's a big deal at a small school, not only from an admission standpoint, but you know, from a football coach's standpoint. And you know, turn over and lose the kids. And you know, right now we've been able to you know keep a great core of kids, uh, and, and that's you know that's a neat deal for us. You know, we think we got some good kids coming back, so we're excited. We had a pretty decent recruiting class. We'll bring in about 37 guys. We'll have a squad of about 85, 80, you know, somewhere between 85 and 90, you know, right in there. Uh, and uh, we got a few transfers in that process. We just picked up a transfer from. Uh, University of South Dakota running back uh, Jimmy Williams. He was our number one guy in 2006. Uh, the guy we were really trying to get more than anybody else, and we lost him to USD. Uh, and he was down there for two years, red shirt a year, played a little bit last year, and he decided to transfer back. Uh, last week we signed a running back from Fullerton uh, Community College in California, another big kid that will help us in the backfield. And uh, we brought in another nose guard from uh, Mount Sac in California. Also, their team played for the state championship out there. And uh, so those three kids kind of give us a little bit of a punch in some spots that we really needed some help. So we, we kind of feel like we, we filled in a little bit of that part of it. And then in the state, we, we ended up uh, in South Dakota getting, you know, just an outstanding running back out of Ethan Emery, a young kid by the name of Josh Enders that uh, uh, Josh was, I don't know, I think he ran over a couple thousand yards for his high school. He won the state title, and uh, he's got good speed. Uh, he's a 100-meter kid in track, and uh, so Josh, we're going to put him on the perimeter, and he'll be a big help for us out there. Seth Hoffman is another all-state wide receiver we got out of Arlington, and uh, Alex Glover is a big D lineman we picked up out of Ellicton, and uh, so we, you know, we got some good kids that were locally too. We, we got, uh, we just signed a young man from uh, Iowa. Uh, uh, by the name of Michael Bruns from uh, Union. So uh, I just wanted to say that because we've got some Iowa coaches here. So. We got really late, so you guys must not know this. So we, we ended up getting a Michael Bruns kid, a good player. Uh, we're excited about him. He's going to come in as a fullback position for us and give us a little bit of depth. And uh, so we've, we've, we've had a, you know, we, we, we didn't get as many kids probably this year in the recruiting class we'd like. We're, we're used to about 40 to. 45 guys, we ended up with about 37. Uh, but uh, you know, we feel like we've got pretty good depth and, and the class was good coming in. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's building in the right direction. And uh, we're very happy to see that overall. So, uh, any questions you might have out there? Okay, great guys, thank you.